Well, got something very interesting here about yet another failed Star Wars project by Woke SJW Disney. I haven't really covered a whole lot on uh, Disney Star Wars just because, you know, I mean, it's blatantly obvious that it kind of sucks. But uh, if you're my cat sorry about that i'm gonna keep that in the video because hey why not but if you don't know there's this thing called the galactic star cruiser which was a um six thousand a dollar night uh, you know for two nights basically six thousand dollars to um at this uh you know totally immersive star wars you know hotel which you know funny because in the trailer video it pretty much lacked star wars it was a star wars hotel without Star Wars, you know, and I'm not saying I'm like a Star Wars fan, you know, I mean, I, I haven't, it's been years since I even seen anything, you know, you know, any Star Wars films, um, but a lot of kids, you know, are fans, obviously, because it's geared towards younger kids, and man, if they were to ever go to this thing, it would be disappointing, but to further show, because even more disappointing on woke SJW Disney side, is the fact that it's actually failing so badly that they're having to either cancel reservations or give out all these different refunds. It's actually pretty hilarious. And I think what's really hilarious in and of itself is the fact that they thought it was a good idea to charge six to charge six thousand dollars for two nights. I mean you can get a trip to the Caribbean for like half that price with a much better experience, but I could say a whole lot more on that. But it says on a on an article on SiliconValley.com, Disney World's struggling five thousand dollar Star Wars Hotel slashes uh, prices and cancel summer dates. The initial buzz to help fill help fill Disney's coffers and galact with galactic credits has turned into a, a, a concerning quiet in the halls of the Halcyon, the Star Wars starship at the center of an immersive storytelling hotel experience. Yeah, and it was set in um, what's referred to as the sequel trilogy, which pretty much everybody except for a small minority pretty much hates. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, again, I haven't seen the film in years. The last Star Wars film I saw in the theaters was, um, what was it called? Rogue One. So, I mean, I, I, it's been years, you know, that was back in 2016. I'm 21 now. It's been like, last time I saw one was, I was like you know, 15 or, or 14 now is how old I was. But, you know, from what I've heard, everyone hates the new Disney trilogy, except for a small minority of people who do, who are basically just Disney shills. But even this, you know, even with the Disney shills who actually are, you know, fanboys of the, uh, or, or fangirls, whatever you want to say, of the sequel trilogy, even they are rejecting this failed Star Wars hotel that totally just lacks Star Wars. But, again, I'm kind of going on a tangent. This video is more just kind of on the spot, but just, it's hilarious. But anyway, continuing on. It says... Uh, Walt Disney World's highly hyped Star Wars hotel that uh, debuted to months of sold out voyages has seen demand cool so dramatically that the Florida theme park giant has been forced to offer steep discounts on the pricey experience and canceled dates in the middle of summer. The Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel at Disney's Hollywood Studios in Florida has begun offering 30% to 50% discounts to select customers on three on three night two night sorry three day two night voyages that cost. At the, sorry, that cost $5,000 to $20,000. Yeah. The Galactic Cruise uh, invites consumed passengers to hatch, to hatch plots against the First Order, fall, uh, sorry, fall in with the band of underworld smugglers, and sip space, sorry, sip space cocktails for as long as they, they can suspend disbelief and buy into the interstellar cosplay theater, uh, which has been billed as the most immersive Star Wars experience ever created. Uh, Walt Disney World officials say that the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruise is one of its most ambitious and most immersive experience ever created that continues to receive outstanding, outstanding feedback from guests. Yep, the um, outstanding feedback are essentially from Disney shills who were either paid to go there or got to go there for free and, you know, had to write a good review, you know, to get their paycheck from Disney. See, if you talk, there's a, there's a video, his name is, um, it's, it's Channel's Overlord DVD. He has a video where he actually interviewed the average paying guest, one of them, uh, he, it was his friend who went to the, the uh, Star Wars hotel. Uh, not he wasn't a Disney show, just your average paying guest, and he shared his experience. And man, I mean, everything. I mean, I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was that bad. I mean, it is. It's not even worth a hundred dollars, let alone five thousand dollars. But again, I'll probably link that in the description. So anyway, but yeah, it's failing to say the least. 
So, uh, continuing on the article, the Star Wars Hotel that debuted to much fanfare in March of 2022 initially opened with three months of sold-out dates. Former Disney CEO Bob Chapek, or as I call him Bob Paycheck, said interest in the Galactic Star Cruiser was phenomenal, and customer ratings were in incredibly high for a few months after the hotel opened, according to Forbes. At the time, Chapek said strong demand would keep the Galactic Star Cruiser at 100% utilization during the summer, Forbes reported. The initial buzz that helped Disney filled coffers with galactic credits has turned into a concerning quiet in the halls of the Halcyon, the Star Wars starship created by Walt Disney Engineering and Lucasfilm at the center of an immersive storytelling hotel experience. Uh, you can book a stay on the Galactic Star Cruiser this weekend and virtually any night through September of 2023. Uh, that is right now that the once solely booked calendar is wide open. The Star Wars Hotel has about 100 rooms with a capacity of about 500 people with the footprint kept intentionally small to allow for Inmate, sorry, intimate storytelling moments uh, throughout the 45-hour galactic journey. That is embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, seriously, 100 rooms, and even then, even during the summer, they can barely f they can barely fill that thing up. When normally that should have been the highest demand, where they should have been just booked out day after day, but even during the summer, they can't fill up 100 rooms. That is embarrassing. But hey, it's kind of what happens when you create a Star Wars hotel, but just forget to add the Star Wars to it. Anyway, I'm just, I'm kind of going on a tangent, but continuing on. The Galactic Star Cruiser began offering 30% discounts to, to loyal Disney Vacation Club members in November when hotel capacity dropped to as low as 25% on some dates, according to the Walt Disney World News Today. The low turnout forced the Star Cruiser to cut the second dinner seatings on some evenings, the uh, Walt Disney World News Today reported. The low demand has brought concerns for the future of the experience, according to Walt Disney World News Today. As Master Yoda says, it's difficult to see, always in motion the future is. <laughs> or maybe you should be charging like just copious amounts of money for a, a two-night experience. Maybe there, there's a problem as well. Uh, in January, Disney canceled dates for the Star Cruiser stays in July, August, September, and offered to rebook impacted guests on other voyages at 50% discounts according to Walt Disney World Magic. At the same time, Disney World rolled out discounts as steep as $700 on hotel stays at the Florida theme park resort before or after a Star Cruiser voyage according to Walt Disney World News Today. Disney World is offering the huge discounts in the hopes of reversing the tide of the struggling Star Wars hotel according to Inside the Magic. Uh, as the one year anniversary of the hotel approaches, things seem to be faltering already according to Inside the Magic. The cracks are starting to show and fans hope that something happen something happens soon to make the experience more accessible. Here's an idea, maybe cut back on the, um, maybe, maybe, you know, don't charge $6,000, maybe cut back, like, by a lot. Maybe say a 50%, maybe just make it, I don't know, if you have the charge in the, the six number, maybe $600. You know, and even that would be kind of pushing it, given how much garbage the experience is, based on what I've seen from videos. You know, but, you know, the biggest reason why it's failing is just the, the ridiculously high expensive, you know, price for a two-night experience. That's kind of the real issue there. But hey, what's to be expected from the love of money, which is a core tenet of the woke, liberal, SJW, socially left-wing, you know, uh, whatever you want to call it, ideology that has plagued Disney World for the past, I don't know how many years now. It's a bunch of garbage. But hey, you love money, but, you know, the love of money is actually costing them both physically, you know, in terms of dollars, and also metaphorically, too. Anyway, again, just kind of on tangent, more on the spot. Uh, it's just laughable that they don't get it. But hey, what's to be expected from woke, liberal, SJW, leftist Disney? So anyway, by the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.